<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Alright, so if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that I have a pretty much dove head first back into fragrance it's a problem it's kind of like an addiction i think that's probably why i stopped a few years ago because i had so many and now i'm like back in the game um and i can't stop so i uh i think because i've been searching so much and purchasing um fragrances my algorithm on literal everything like all of my ads are about perfume and or sunglasses because i love sunglasses too so either perfume or sunglasses at all times is what i'm seeing so i had heard about this brand that does dupes or duplicate fragrances um of some higher end more popular fragrances and i don't have so sometimes i like to do um like discovery sets or samples i've done like a full kaoli um discovery set i've done like a montal discovery set a montserra I, um and sometimes i like that and i just got like the the best of vanilla from um sephora and i did that because i wanted to get a full version of vanilla i mean vanilla woods because i was already gonna purchase one so i was like well i just get the discovery set and see if there's anything that i've uncovered so i like to try lots of different things but near me because i am the deep South and we don't have a lot of you know we don't have any um sacks and neemans near us so lots of the the higher end fragrances that lots of people can go in and just smell I can't and um I just didn't feel like doing samples or anything like that so there were a couple of scents um that I wanted to try one of them I have smelled and I also have a few things that are supposed to be dupes but only one that I recently got I can say smells like that scent that I know um so this one I'll be interested to see you guys probably already know what I'm talking about when I say the scent that everybody's trying to dupe um so in in looking for fragrances I didn't want I don't want to just purchase these really high-end high price tag fragrances without being able to smell them um so that's why I spend time trying to find things that smell similar just to see if I even like that fragrance family before I take the plunge of buying um um higher end scents uh if that makes any sense so in in doing that i or in looking around for brands i heard so many people talking about this brand that their scents are like spot on uh and then <laughs> i started getting served the ads constantly i don't really um spend a lot of time on tiktok i try to limit my time because i know that lots of people say it can be a massive time suck but I, every time I got on TikTok, I was getting Okja. And that's the brand that I'm using. Is it Okja? 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 It's got to be like Okja, right? Um, so I started being served their ads. And I finally was like, you know what? I'm just going to take the plunge. So the first one is um, Baccarat Rouge 540. And I do have a couple of things that are supposed to be dupes. And I have smelled that one. That's the one that I've smelled. And I... Um, the one that I've got that has been closest was actually from Zara. And it's like, I can't remember the name of it, <laughs> but it's from Zara and it came, it's always sold out. So I had alerts set for when it was in stock and they sent me an alert. I got it immediately. It was sold out in two minutes. Um, so I did get it and that one smells like, here's the thing. And this is going to sound crazy, but to me, to my nose, I don't enjoy the Baccarat 540 scent range and I don't I mean the scent I don't like the scent of it and I wouldn't even say that I love the Zara perfume but people constantly com compliment me on it so I think that's what drives me to keep trying trying that scent family because it never fails if I'm wearing that or even any of the things that are kind of supposed to be dupes I think there's some note or some similar notes that on me people really like or maybe it's just that it's coming to them I don't know but I decided to get um the duplicate from Oaksha and this packaging is really nice like this is a very high-end looking packaging so I'll give them that um so it opens like this it says experience luxury um so yeah it's you you can tell it's trying to do the luxury experience that you get with the luxury brand without the luxury price so this one what is this one is this even the one that i'm trying to show you hold on hold on y'all doing too much with your packaging 
Yes, so this is it. So this is Swiven, Swiven, Swiven. I don't know, but it's supposed to be um, a Baccarat 540 dupe. The packaging, again, is very nice. It's black, sleek. It's going to look good displayed. It's matte. Um, so we're going to... Ugh! It's got the gold. We're going to spray this and see if this is similar to that scent that I know. <laughs> that's it <laughs> that is it okay okay that's it and again it's not that I love this scent but people love it on me but this this smells okay this smells also exactly like the Zara when people say cloud smells like it I don't I don't get it from cloud um I mean the opening but as it dries down it's not the same so don't I mean I'm not gonna say don't waste your time because it is a good fragrance but if you're looking for a Baccarat 540 dupe don't waste your time thinking that's gonna be the one. Um, yeah, this is this is it. Um, did I just make an ugly face? I probably made an ugly face. Sorry. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, this is this is it. Um, so I don't remember how much this was, but I okay. So here's the thing. I ordered this at least eight weeks ago, six, seven, eight weeks ago, something like that, and it didn't come. And so I I emailed the company like, yeah, we're just behind, and they issued me like a partial refund. refund. Um, for my purchase because they knew that it had taken so long but it did get here so I'm glad to have it it does smell like that scent that I, I know now this one I've never smelled before this one is supposed to be um, Killian love don't be shy or don't be shy or whatever it's supposed to be a dupe of that one which is supposed to be really sweet and all the notes of that one are notes that I enjoy which is why I wanted to try them and this is all right, so my camera <laughs> died somehow, even though it told me it had 100% battery. I guess it lied. <sighs> I'm not better. Someone had ate lunch while it charged a little bit. It, I don't know how long it's got, so let me hurry up. All right, so the second one is supposed to be like Killian's, is it Don't Be Shy or Love Don't Be Shy? Whatever it is, it's supposed to be a really, really sweet fragrance. And the thing I was going to say about Okcha is... Some brands won't outright say, hey, this is inspired by or this is supposed to be like um, X, Y, and Z, but they do. Like the ones, there are some that aren't supposed to be like other fragrances, but the ones that are inspired by or dupes of other fragrances have the, the fragrance that they're supposed to smell like. So that's why I knew that the Baccarat <coughs> Rouge 540 was supposed to be um, that scent. Another thing is these bottles are only one ounce, which it depends on how much fragrance you use. It can be small. Um... And they're always on sale though. When I got them, they were $30 each. So I spent like $60. Which you're not even going to spend that on one good fragrance. <laughs> um, and uh, what was I going to say? Right now, I think they're like $40. Um, and supposedly the, the, the full price is $50. Um, which you, again, you can just wait until they go on sale. But the shipping does take a while. Like even though my shipping was even more delayed i saw lots of reviews of people shipping taking a long time just period uh, so anyway this one is sweet addict the thing about matte packaging is it's so sleek but if you have any kind of oil either even if it's like your natural body oil it's gonna make the packaging look ugly um it's gonna get it streaked so let's see if i fix some of that so as you can see again it's the black matte packaging gold lettering gold everything <laughs> i've never smelled this one so i'm excited oh that was kind of hard to open um and i think you know i don't usually play into the luxury hype because most things i don't think are actually worth it um especially if the materials are the same as never mind anyway um but <laughs> so the packaging looking so luxe and all that i don't really care um i know some people care about that but i don't really care i'm so nervous i'm nervous when i smell new fragrances i don't know what that's about um all right so again i'm gonna spray this in the cap because i already do have on a fragrance today i'm gonna give it a few seconds what does it smell like Oh, this is not what I was expecting. Oh, this is not, this is not. Interesting. I think I like it though. I think I like it. The thing about their website is, where is my phone? My phone is what I'm looking for. They don't give you the notes that are supposed to be in the fragrance, really. They just kind of say, with this and this and this and this. But those are not all the notes. So I'm not even sure. 
Interesting. You know, it's not as sweet as I expected, but I don't know what to make of this one. Like, I'm gonna have to wear it and smell it. Okay, all right, um, okay. I already have a vanilla. All right, so I had another camera issue. I don't know what's going on with my camera. <laughs> okay, it needs to charge some more. I know what's going on. So the actual notes of this are pretty complex, but um, the pink pepper is coming out now. And I tend, mm, see it's changing. There's so many notes. I gotta smell this on my skin. It's getting sweeter. Like at first I didn't get the sweet. Like I was like, wow, this is supposed to be a sweet fragrance. At first I didn't get the sweet. But all the like, there's like, there's gotta be peony. I'm getting peony now. And like a, a slight musk um, and a jasmine. So it's like a, a floral. It's giving floral to me. And I wasn't expecting floral. Um, interesting i gotta keep trying this one um i gotta keep trying this one yeah it's like it's continually changing and i think i'm catching rose now i think it has like a bulgarian rose is supposed to be in it yeah i'm catching that ah it's changing again <laughs> the fragrance is so complex I feel like people will like this. Like if they're if they're like walking by, because everybody's gonna get something different. I think like everybody's gonna probably pick up on different notes. It's not it's not like um, linear. Like the the fragrance is not linear at all, and and it's very complex. I I'm getting so much more rose now. It's pulling so rosy on me, and. Not like your grandma's rose. It's a very sweet rose. I enjoyed this. Okay. Interesting. Okay, she's cute. She's <coughs> sorry, she sprayed a lot. <coughs> she's cute though. <laughs> She's cute. Okay, so I overall tend I think I like these. I think they're gonna be cute display with all the rest of my fragrances even though they're pretty small oh that's the other thing so i do know that that's swithin which is supposed to be i have to say it with that face swithin 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 okay sorry uh <laughs> the real me's coming out the longer i sit here um so again this was on sale for 30 dollars. the original price is 50 it's one ounce this is the one that i got from zara this smells just like it and it's red temptation also smells just like baccarat rouge and when you spray this one also smells just like um swivin 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 okay sorry um so the difference is this one when it is available is $25.95 so it's like $26 again I paid $30 for this one right now it's $40 sometimes it's $50 um but this one's one ounce this one's 2.7 so it's almost three ounces so you do with that what you may um the packaging is really different who cares? Um, this one <laughs> is backwards. This one does look much more luxe, um, even though it's not. And then this one's just a plain, got like a rose gold cap, clear glass. So do with that what you will. Um, but yeah, those are my, my first impressions are, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to try at least the notes of these fragrances to see how you like them and if it's worth kind of splurging on. But honestly, if you have the same fragrance and if it's going to have a good lasting power, that's the other thing. I haven't worn them for long, but everything, it's changing again. There can't, okay, I know that there's no violet in this, but I'm getting violet and I tend to like violet. Um, I don't think it's violet. I'm pretty sure there's no violet in it, but I'm catching a violet. Um... So yeah, if you like a lot of different fragrances, this is a way to try out things. So I do like Okja. Um, and again, like I said, they weren't like whatever you get your package when you get it, they did offer me a partial refund because it had been so long. So the customer service was pretty good as well. The ordering experience, although it took a long time, was pretty good. So that's kind of how I feel. I'm going to go see what else is on their site that I can try.